It is a very special day today. It is my first day at uni. The module website opens today. It is Wednesday the 7th of September. Wednesday the 7th of September. My module website opened at midnight last night. So my plan is to get ahead and like start and count today as like my first day of uni. So it's gonna be like a lot of preparing basically for the first year, writing dates down, filling out my planner, etc, etc. But I'm also gonna hopefully do a little bit of reading, maybe like start on the stuff because basically I have a lot of things coming up. Um, kind of badly timed um at the start of like this academic year so i go on holiday with my boyfriend at the start of october for a week which is literally the week that uni starts i then have my practical uh, no my theory driving test in the middle of october um so that's another thing that i need to like make headspace for um, and then I also have another trip with my boyfriend um, at the start of November and then obviously it's Halloween in there then we start to get on to Christmas and it gets a little bit crazy and hectic and I also full-time run a business so time is tight um, if I can get ahead on things then that is perfect so it's literally just opened at midnight and I'm gonna get started my official start date is not until the 2nd of October but I literally go away four days after that and also because this is law there are also like online assessments like exams that I think I have like 24 hours to complete so I need to like actually be revising as well this year um, as well as doing coursework and stuff so that's the plan I do have a lot of work things to do this morning as well um, I have a couple of brand deals to do for TikTok and um, I just have some general like everyday work bits to do. I have a lot of orders to pack as well. Orders have been going absolutely crazy um, over the past couple of weeks, which is amazing and crazy and just like the best feeling ever. Um, so there's also a lot of parcels and packages being delivered currently. Um, and my parents are away um, in Florida, but I didn't sleep very well last night because they facetimed me from the ugg shop and i've really wanted like the mini uggs um for about a year and i think i might have now got them they might have bought them for me um which i was like literally like planning all outfits in my head before i went to sleep last night it was pretty crazy i'm wearing like the perfect mini ugg outfit today just like little black top black leggings and then this like checkered shirt just like over the top um and like the autumnal like vibes this is giving it's crazy i'm kind of procrastinating with the start of this vlog because it's currently chucking it down outside and i've told myself that i'm gonna go to costa to work today but it is currently chucking it down with rain and i'm all dressed like i've done my makeup and everything nicely um for the brand deals that i'm doing later so i'm really trying to like not get wet and ruin my makeup so yeah lots of orders to pack today lots of work bits to do i'm designing new products which is really really exciting um especially because then i get to like use them um only at the start obviously it's just like printouts and stuff um but then hopefully when i send them to production then i get to use them really fun oh. <laughs> i've had a bit of an outfit change i look like human shrek i had to change because um the rain is just still not stopping and also I think I'm going to be really really cold if I just wear that shirt. So super cash comfy to study in. There is nothing better than doing your work in leggings and a hoodie just being so comfy. I'm going to leave now because it's kind of stopped but I also don't want to waste any more time. And now I've got this hood I should hopefully be fine oh i've also packed my bag but i've realized i have not charged my headphones so they're probably gonna last about like 10 minutes until they die which is just not allowed i have to always be listening to headphones jumper is actually kind of cute like when you're not 
wearing it like I was. And the rain just started picking up again. Damn. This has been a day when it'd be great to start actually have an umbrella. Cause I just wanna sleep tonight Yeah, I just wanna sleep But lately I've been sleeping way too much Cause baby I've just got back from Costa And also stopped off to see my grandma quick When I was in Costa Realised I've got so much to do Um, Basically I haven't created the September content And we are now like a week into September. So that needs to be done. So I'll probably film some podcasts. I don't know whether to do it now because it might get me in like a good mood and then I can film the TikToks after. Cause basically I have, like my must do's is some uni work and then um, some emails. And then I also must, must, must film two TikTok ads. So I'm trying to work out whether if I recorded some podcasts, I would be able to kind of get into that like motivation, like study filming mood because I don't really feel like I'm in it right now. Look at Jack, he looks so cute. And then the content stuff I can do this evening, but like on my laptop in the lounge. I also want to try and film the podcast as like a video. My mum's now got a webcam actually set up in there, which she uses for like when she's doing live sessions, but I'm gonna try and record the podcast as like a video, but I'm not too sure how that'll work. I also have like 14 orders that have come in since last night that I need to pack, um, which is a really lovely amount, not like crazy crazy, but also like a nice amount to do. And I've got some of them like half packed. I like to pre-pack so that I can be really speedy with how quick I dispatch them. That's the plan. I also have my nails on Friday. I'm sorry this isn't too much uni work. I keep forgetting that like, I actually have that to do. And I can't help but wish that all my dreams came true. But I'm not ever wishing on a star that galaxies won't make you change your heart. Look at me, I look so crazy. I've just recorded four episodes I did an intro and like a little like ad type intro just like just for um the podcast and that has taken me like an hour I don't know whether it's an hour and a half or two hours and a half I'm now gonna pack my orders I'm thinking that the TikTok ads I'm either gonna film later or um i will film them tomorrow like early morning like literally first thing tomorrow like i'm talking like 8 till 9 a.m i'm kind of thinking that that might be for the best because if i do it now i look a bit scruffy and i also just feel like my mindset's not gonna be like bang 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 um because i did the podcast as videos um which now means that they can go up and I'm also really conscious of making sure I do at least check out the module website. I did have it open yesterday and then I refreshed it. There's literally whilst I was at Costa, but that's all I've done. Um, I haven't looked at the TMAs. I haven't looked at deadlines and stuff. I had a look at the deadline just because well, I looked at one deadline because I was like, am I going to be on holiday? And then I was like, am I going to be doing my theory test? But it turns out it's fine. I'm not going to be doing either of them on that day. Yeah, I feel completely, absolutely... I was going to say I feel cream crackered. Um, yes, I'm not feeling like completely cream crackered. But I do feel like energy levels are going to deplete very quickly. I need to pack the orders. My grandma's kindly said that she'll, like I said earlier, take me to the post box. So I have like an... How long do I have? Like an hour? And I really want to finish watching 12 Years a Slave TikTok ads. I think this is going to be a two day vlog, you know, because I'm really just not going to get everything done that I needed to get done today. Anyway, I'm going to print out the orders and start. So I've been getting bags under my eyes because I've been 
Staying up too late at night. Good morning, everybody. Oh. I just got my finger caught in the blind. I thought I'd carry this vlog on from yesterday because you probably will have seen that I didn't actually manage to get around to any uni work. I had a lot of other things that were like slightly more pressing than that um, yesterday. So that was what I did. Let me put you down. Yeah, those things were slightly more pressing. So that's what I did. Got my mug of coffee can't add out today. I was going to go to Costa again today, but honestly, it's literally just chucking it down. I can't be bothered to get wet on the walk down. So we'll see where that happens later. Today, I'm going to actually like start on the uni stuff. There was drama in the group chat last night. It was like kicking off left, right and centre. So I say it sent a gif. <laughs> Does anybody want me to rap to lighten the mood a bit? That's why I sent that like Chris Hughes one. Anyway, got some more orders to pack um, today and um, some other like contenty worky bits to do. But I am gonna definitely make sure I get my uni stuff done. That will probably be my second priority of the day. First priority, I have some TikToks that I need to film. Well, actually I have one TikTok that I need to film and then I'll probably batch some more TikToks either tomorrow um or later on but this is a brand um ad tiktok i have another one to film i think probably tomorrow just need to get the script approved um it's a bit of a process these things but i'm just loving clean girl buns clean girl ponytails at the moment i'm mainly doing it because my hair's so greasy like i can't lie <laughs> my hair is really greasy um but i i try to only wash my hair like twice a week i don't know whether you care about this um, but I just love it and then I'm in the same outfit as I was yesterday. Jumper, little black top, leggings. It's just the standard at this point. It's really cold in here today. Anyway, yes, lots to be getting on with today. And my main things I'm going to do regarding uni is because I'm not sure actually how much I can like do and how much I can get stuck in. Because honestly, like I think I need to like lean myself into it so i'll probably just like write down deadlines do that sort of like admin -y stuff it's just been quite a lot like mentally like i've been really excited to start uni again but it is just like another thing like that's on my mind that like i know i have to do which obviously like i signed up for and like i do want to do it but it is like more work at the end of the day and like i am Running my business and all of this. Balance, because it's you balancing everything is really challenging. And I know like that's the same when it comes to like revision and stuff at school. Um, I'm starting to feel like on the verge of sort of overwhelm, which I don't want to feel because when I feel overwhelmed, I basically just like shut everything out and like end up really not being productive, which is so counterproductive. Like it really just doesn't help solve the problem if if anything it makes it worse when i get like that it's just a case of like carrying on going being kind to myself and just like getting what i can done i'm gonna write up my to-do list for today roughly i've kind of got a mini one on my phone but i'm gonna write it up in a new product that is hopefully coming very soon i i'm not gonna say anything more about that and i probably won't show you it but at the moment i'm just printing it out for myself like every single day but I am loving it and it means that like every product that I design and like create I always use myself like before it's like launched. It means that I, I can like perfect it and it kind of is two jobs in one. I'm going to crack on with doing the TikTok ad now and planning out my day properly um, and then I will get back to you. On this page, deciding whether I should just confess or hide. TikTok ad is filmed. I don't know why I always build that up to be like such a big thing in my head to do. And then when I'm actually doing it, like I really enjoy it. And then like when I'm editing it, I'm like, ah, oh. because I have another one to do, but the script is currently, like I said, being um, approved. I also freaking caught my nail. You can like see where it's like come off a bit there. See that like bubble bit? it's really painful um i also made like a brand progress thing on the whiteboard so i can like keep up with 
the brands that I am in contact with because it can get a little bit of like a mental thing to like try and keep up with it. Plan for now is either content or open uni stuff. I feel like because I didn't do the uni stuff yesterday, I do want to make it like a priority today. So I'll probably do that. Um, I didn't actually end up planning my day, I can't lie. Um, I actually forgot my bloody laptop. Let's do some uni planning because I know that that's all what we wanted to see. That's why we are here. And also it'll make me feel better that I've at least like done something towards uni yeah let's do some uni planning prepping for a new school year for me is pretty like chilled out luckily i don't really need to buy anything this year because i can't lie i literally didn't even use half of what i bought last year i also am like regularly buying stationery like for my job and also i run a study company so like luckily for me like cornell pads which are a blooming lifesaver when it comes to uni honestly i thought they were good for a level but this is like insanely helpful luckily i have like a supply of them and like flashcards and stuff like i also have a supply of them so that's why i'm not like going out to buy them because i use mine because they're perfect for studying and i do use that is not from stylish study which i am going to show you because it's really helpful but also watch this space because next year we might not be using this planner is just what I'm going to say. Um, is this planner and it goes up until December this year. Oh crap. I thought this went up until. I thought this went was like a year and a half long. Oh that's annoying. That's only going to last until December. Oh okay. Right well, we'll add deadlines up until then. Because to be fair. I also have managed to like somehow basically completely destroy this um, planner, which is obviously delightful. Look, like in here, I've managed to like break the, look, like what is that? Um, yeah, so this is well loved as you can tell, but I only do pretty much use this for academic things. I was using it for work stuff and um and i was just finding it was getting a bit much uh in here so firstly i'm gonna pop in my dates my deadlines which i can find on here now if i go to assessment um these are the deadlines um and then like once i do it my scores will come here yeah that's just that and then i will probably actually print out um these tmas um and also the referencing bit because um i could probably do with those bits my plan was to go on my dad's ipad and then highlight the digital book and then make notes from that because i don't like highlighting physical book it feels too permanent it really gives like i have like commitment issues when it comes to that i really cannot highlight like a physical book i don't know why and also like annotate that but my dad is currently halfway around the world i can't really do that because he's taking his ipad blooming with him of course he has um which obviously he's allowed to because it's his but it's annoying and that's why i'm like a little bit hesitant to actually like get started with working um i can't book any lectures yet because they're not available um but i will do that as soon as they become available so i drink a mug coffee harder iced to get me through another lonely night i wanna fall asleep but i shouldn't fall asleep this time cause lately i've been sleeping way too much cause baby i've been dreaming about us and i can't help but all my things have been added to my calendars i just added it to my google calendar i am now just looking at the links um that are on the assessment bit just sussing out weightings kind of things like that which are often glanced over by students but i really just say like it's so important to understand what you're doing um and like the more information you can have on like the question how much it's worth assessment style like all of that good stuff the better basically also here it's given me a basic structure of a law essay which is really handy so i'm probably going to like screenshot that 
create a little document and then like print all that stuff out because like that's just so handy to like have at all times like make sure you're following their structure because you might think that you're like writing the best essay in the world but if you're not like following the examiner's structure then like you're not like yes you probably are but like you're not so that's what i'm going through now um there's just like loads of info on here and like this is very like detailed compared to how much info we were given for business i don't know whether like that's because it's gonna be a lot harder i'm not actually too sure or like whether it's just because it's like a bit more of like a set layout and like getting used to it and stuff i'm gonna go through all these bits down here um just sort of like read them screenshot what i think is necessary print it out and then also print out my tmas um i have a folder that i like kind of just shovel my ou stuff in which needs organizing but last year i ended up just kind of keeping it all in my cornell pad last year like i've said in a few videos i did do it a little bit slapdash because i just was like trying to get it done um but this year i feel a lot more like prepared i'm in a good place like i kind of know what to expect as well although obviously i'm switching up the subject so it might be a bit more like intense but um yeah i'm gonna go through all that now have a little look it's about half 10 now so i'm gonna try and do this until sort of like 11 um but not like rush myself because this is really important so i've just spent like the last half an hour reading through this like 56 page document it's absolutely chucking it down with rain outside i'm sorry if you can hear that but there's actually a lot of good stuff in here and it's kind of something that when you're like learning and like actually involved in what you're like um like getting stuck into the questions it's the stuff you need to know but the stuff you don't want to go and like read a 56 page document um to like actually do it so what i'm gonna do is go back to like my study methods and everything that i've done so far to like be as successful as possible and condense all of this information and this is something that is a little bit annoying but i know like I'm going to have that like the front of my folder and um, it's going to be really condensed and I can like actually look through stuff and this law looks a little bit more demanding shall we say than the business one so for example there's things that you have to reference there's like a whole assessment scale on here which is really really handy also you're not supposed to use contractions so for example you should put should not instead of shouldn't um which again is something that like i need to like make sure that i know of that and like i wouldn't have known that otherwise i just want to make sure that i'm doing things properly and like going through things so i'm going to turn this guide that they have on the website and put that into an actual document but before that i'm going to get some lunch um because i'm actually like starving and i won't be able to do this if i'm hungry Your heart won't make it any easier for me to stop dreaming by you. 